Hey guys, this is Wabash of Utah, and today I'm going to show you how to use something like a flash drive or an external hard drive or something like that as a storage device for all the computers in your house. Now on Windows XP, I know this was kind of difficult because, well, it was just, you know, hard to navigate, the UI wasn't very fancy, but with Windows 7, Microsoft has made it much easier to do that so instead of having to you know hire a professional and set up a server or whatever you can almost anybody can do this um what you want what you're going to want to do is press start all right and go to computer and mine's already set up so actually before i do that you're going to need to uh hook up a wi-fi adapter or use a LAN cable, Cat5 cable, to hook up the computer with the storage device attached to it that you want to use. Alright, um, you're also, if you're going to do it wirelessly, you're going to need a router, wireless router. If you're going to do it wired, you're going to need a router anyways, a wired router, an extension kind of deal. Alright, so you're going to need Lowe's. Alright, now once you've done that, the all the computers that you want to share that storage with, you're going to need to connect them to that router, which means you're going to have to get network cables for them also, or you're going to need to get Wi-Fi adapters for them. It really depends on uh, how far away they are from each other. In a workplace, you would want to use probably wires. Um... In your, in your house, you'd probably want to use Wi-Fi adapters. So, I'm just using Wi-Fi adapters, but anyways. So then what you're going to want to do, click on Start. Then go to My Computer, or just Computer, as it is on Windows 7. Now, there's two ways you can go about this. Um, normally, what should happen is... As long as your computers are all connected to that same router, um, it's basically al already set up for you. They all have to be running Windows 7, but and I think they'll work with Windows XP, but I forgot how that works. But I'm certain all the computers with Windows 7 on them will be able to automatically sync with each other. So, assuming you've got all of your computers run running Windows 7, you gotta click on Network, and then wait for it to load. This is going to display the computers that are connected to your router thing. Um, this one is my computer right here, and this one is a computer on the other side of my house. Okay, and what I can do, let's pretend I wanted to use this one. Well, actually, let's use mine because it's a better example. Um, let's pretend that I was this computer. Okay, this computer right here. And that I wanted to access, say, an external hard drive on this computer. Well, what I would do is I'd double click on it. And then I'd wait a minute. Then it's going to ask me for a username and password. Now this you're going to have to get from the user of that computer or if you're the one that's setting this up just type in the username to that computer that you used to log in just as if you were on that computer and then you type in your password and you can tell it to remember your credentials or not I'm just not going to and you click OK alright and here we are um, this right here is the external hard drive that I've got connected to it and so basically I'm in a computer in this room right here and on the other side of my house there's another computer with an external hard drive connected to it and this right here this and this they're the same thing are the external hard drive so and see I got all these files on it what I've accumulated over a few years okay 
And so, if I wanted to watch a movie, I could just go to uh, my video files and do that deal. And then, it really depends on your connection speed. Some are fast, like way fast, and others are kind of slow. But, mine's a pretty good connect connection. I'm doing about 54 megabytes per second. Alright. And so I'm streaming this movie okay. You know. I don't know what the bitrate is, but it's not lagging or anything. Okay. And that this video file that I'm watching is on a hard drive connected to a remote computer on the other side of my house. I, I think it's kind of cool. Alright. Now videos and music files aren't the only things you can share. Um, some people kind of get the wrong idea about that but you can also sh you can share anything you can even share exe files so let's go to well I don't have a good exe file right now or maybe I do well let's try pac-man alright it's an exe file application we'll just double click on it on Windows 7 it'll ask you if you want to run it and you're going to want to click run or allow access. It's going to say one of those two things. And it's not popping up probably because I'm doing this from a remote connection. But normally it would pop up with a Pac-Man thing and then you could play it or whatever. Now it's not going to be as good as if you had it on your own computer. But like again, like I said, if you're using G adapters, 54 megabytes per second... Yeah, it'll, it'll be pretty good. It won't be perfect, but it'll still be good. If you're using N, then it's going to be awesome. It's not going to matter. If you're using wires, it's not going to matter. So, as long as you're not using some outdated A or B technology, you should be okay. You can access other files too. You can even, you can access a printer. Alright. Um, this printer is connected to that computer on the other side of my house. If I wanted to use it, I would click connect. And then I'd wait a little bit. And like I said, this can take a while. It's going to automatically download the driver from your printer. And then you, when you want to print something, it'll display... For example, mine is the HP PhotoSmart C4400 series. It would display that in your printer, and then you could just walk to the other side of your house or whatever and grab what you printed. So, really, really cool feature. I, I know a lot of people have decided to use to go from Windows to Mac, but I, I think Windows 7 is a masterpiece. It's awesome. And there's several folders you can share and... So overall, it's something really good that Microsoft did with Windows 7. And there's other features that I haven't showed you that Windows 7 is capable of. And I'll show it to you later. But thanks for watching. I hope I've helped. If you have any questions, send me a message or give me a video reply. And I'll get to you as soon as I can.